Hey guys, so I've had this computer for about three days now and I didn't want to make a video until I felt comfortable with it and I didn't want to make a video until I had all the drivers and games that I wanted to play downloaded onto the system so that I can actually give you guys a very very great review. Now I've had my last Alienware Aurora for about eight months before I had to end up getting a replacement model which is this one because the other one kept failing on me and um, Dell Alienware actually uh, did me a great justice because they shipped me an upgraded unit with some upgraded components um, now I wanted to show you guys off the computer so I'm going to put the camera down for a second and I'm going to get this thing opened up and I'm going to go through each part of the system um, so you can kind of see what, what I'm working with and also maybe you're interested in getting the computer yourself and you may want to get um, a PC kind of comparable to mine this will be able to help you figure out what parts you need in order to make your PC run like mine does alright so, so just so you know I still am new to PC gaming so there is still a lot that I don't know but with what I do know I'm very comfortable being able to talk about it. Now, I don't know a lot, but as time goes on, I will eventually be able to know everything there is or that I need to know about PC gaming. Why can't I get this side panel open? Come on. This is supposed to be the easy part. Okay, so finally I got this freaking PC case open. So let me quickly go through these components to get you guys up to speed. So starting off with the motherboard, I have a Alienware Z370 basic motherboard. It's coupled with a 9th gen Intel Core i7-9700 9K. It also comes with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 HyperX memory. I have a low profile liquid cooler, which is right here. It comes with the GTX 1660 Ti. It comes with the 256 gigabyte NVMe SSD and a one terabyte hard drive with a 460 watt power supply that is housed in this case right here. So I don't know if I wanna turn the computer on with the lights on or off. So I'll just turn the computer on with the lights on and then I'll turn them off to show you how everything looks in the dark all right um i also have some rgb that i have a rgb um light strip strip in the back of my computer with the same color as i made this so i'm going to turn that on real quick as well so you guys should be able to see it now the colors all right let me turn the light off now so you can see it a little better Yep, and that's how it looks. Let me take the camera off the tripod real quick. Here we go. Give you a little closer look. Now the RGB in this, you can actually make it any color you want. All you gotta do is go into the Alienware software and you can do it yourself. That's my RGB light strip in the back that I was telling you guys about. It was kind of hard to make it kind of similar to that color, but I ended up figuring it out. So I had to do this because my other Alienware I had sounded like caca whenever I would video edit or play a game or anything. The freaking fans would just rev up. Even after I was on the phone with Alienware customer service and they helped me tr troubleshoot putting the fan curve down, it was still loud as crap and it just, it was terrible. I'm gonna put the, the camera close. I'm gonna put the camera close. I have a mic on top of the camera. I'm gonna put it close to where the sound is coming from the computer. I want you guys to hear how silent it is. I mean, how quiet it is. You hear that? That's how quiet it is in balance mode and on idle. On idle, we're looking at 38 degrees on the CPU and 35 
on the GPU. If I switch over though, and I put this thing on performance mode, it does rev the fans up a little bit, but it's not loud at all, and it's not distracting at all. Watch this. Right now it's on balance mode, I'm going to put it to performance. Still kind of quiet, huh? It's not bad. Even if you didn't have headphones on, you could still game on that. Alright guys, so I decided to play an older game um, that released in 2011. It's my favorite racing car game to play. It's Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Um, as you can see, I have it on 1440p. Uh, the resolution texture is on, the motion blur is on, the shadow level is on high. It doesn't let you um, change anything or make anything else go higher or lower, so this is what we're stuck at. But I'm just going to go into it really quick and show you how this thing runs. Like, if you never played this game and you love racing games, I would suggest you buy this game. I believe it's $20 in the Origin Store. It's really, really cheap, but it's a lot of fun. And the online is really, really fun if you get a whole bunch of people to actually join you. That can't be that slow, come on. There we go. Let me pause this real quick. Let me turn this music up a little bit so y'all can hear something. All right, I think that's enough. I think you guys get it. The computer is really, really good. It's quiet. I'm going to make an upgrade on the GPU soon and the power supply. I'm probably going to get a 2070 Super, and that's probably the only thing I'm going to change um, besides the NVMe SSD because 256 gigabytes is not going to do for me. So I'll probably end up putting a one terabyte or two terabyte uh, card in there. All right, so that's going to do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and my breakdown of my new computer. If you haven't had a chance to like this video yet, please like this video and subscribe. This is La. Till next time, I'm out of here.